Hi, my name is Ashok. I'm from Phoenix Training Institute. We are providing free classroom training in Mumbai for uh, one entire month for CFA aspirants so that they themselves can decide if they wish to continue this certification. Please feel free to contact us for uh, further details. Thank you. Uh, so in this video, you will get to learn about swaps, par rates. Okay, that's one. Then second one, you will get to know uh, a statement that is the valuation of your swap contract at initiation is zero at initiation is zero you will get to know why okay and you will also get to know why do we call this as uh, par rates okay par rates now basically par rate means the rate at which par rate par rate means the rate at which okay so you can consider this as the coupon rate the coupon rate at which the present value of your bond will will be equal to par okay will be equal to par so i will be deriving all these statements so first of all so let's take one example and then quickly start doing it so year and spot rates first year one year spot rate is four percentage so spot rate means the yield that you get when you hold the bond till maturity okay so one year spot rate is four percentage two year spot is five percentage and three year spot is seven percentage what does this mean say for example you are investing in one year bond so in this case you will get four percentage if you invest in a two-year bond, then each year you are going to get 5%. This is what is mentioned here, spot rates. Spot as in, you know, right from the beginning till the maturity, what you are going to get each year, that is spot rates. So each year you will get 5% and then again 5%. For this third one, it is 7%. Uh, each year you will get 7%. 7% seven percentage okay so this is three year spot rates right so this is the given condition how should i find out swap par rates so the formula is one minus z3 because this is three year spot rate what is this z3 i'll explain it now divided by z1 plus z2 plus z3 okay so the actual formula is 1 minus Zn because if this would have been for 4 years, I would have written Z4 divided by Z1 plus Z2 like this. It will keep going till N, Zn. Okay. So in this case, it's only 3 years. So Z3, I have written 1 minus Z3 divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3. Now what is this Z1, Z2, Z3? Z1 is just the inverse of first year spot rate. First year spot rate is 4 percentage. So, 1 divided by 1 plus 4 percentage will give me 0 0.96. So, I will keep it in store 1. Then Z2 is 1 divided by 1 plus 5 percentage to the power 2. It will give me uh, 0 0.90. Okay. Then Z3 will be 1 divided by 1 plus 7 percentage for 3 years. So this will give me 0 0.816. So these are the uh, uh, you know numbers Z1, Z2 and Z3. Okay, These are the inverse of the spot rates. Now uh, I'll just you know plug in all this number in the formula. So, so spot rate will be I mean swap par rate will be
swap power rate will be okay, 1 minus One minus zero point nine six divided by divided by zero point nine six plus zero point nine zero plus zero point eight one six. Okay. So solving this, I will get uh, six point eight four percentage. Now this is called as swap power rate swap power rate if i have to derive this so why do i say power rate because imagine this is a three year bond and if this becomes the coupon rate so i will get 6.84 first year second year i will get 6.84 third year i will get 106.84 okay because assuming assuming you have invested initially 100 so if you have invested initially 100 at the end you will get back your 100 so it becomes 106.84 now if i discount it with the swap rate which is four percentage for the first year then five percentage for the second year and then uh, seven percentage for the third year it will come to it will give me exactly 100 that's why it is called as par rate okay this is the reason now moving ahead why do i say the valuation in a swap contract you know so valuation of a swap contract at initiation is zero why do i say that let's prove this one now the second derivation now okay so let me write the spot rates once again here so i use another color This is year and then spot rates. So one year spot rate is 4%, two year spot rate is 5%, three year spot rate is 7%. So here I will find out the forward rates now. So what is forward rate? Okay, forward rate is if I say one year spot rate is four percentage, four percentage, uh, two year spot rate is five percentage. So it is two year spot rate is five percentage. Forward means it will tell me, you know, for a specific period, like over here, from one year to two year, what is the spot rate? Uh, what is the uh, for rate that rate is called as forward rate between 1 to 2 similarly for the third one if i say spot rate is imagine uh, spot rate is uh, uh, 7 percentage so 7 percentage this is spot rate now if i say if i say third year forward rate that means i am speaking only for this period second to third this is called forward rate so forward rate is only for specific time okay as far as first year is concerned it will be the same so forward rate will be four percentage only now for the second what you know this period from first year to second year how will i find out the forward rate okay so the formula is or how i would find out is forward rate forward rate for 1y 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 means after one year for one year so that means i am speaking about this part after one year for one year so it will be you know total two years so two year spot rate i will take two year spot rate is five percentage to the power two from there i will discount the first year so one plus four percentage to the power one then minus one so when i do this so I get forward rate as uh, six percentage. If you calculate, you will get six percentage. Similarly, 
I want to find out the forward rate for this part, second to third year. So, forward rate for 2y, 1y. That means after 2 years for 1 year. After 2 years, I want to find out from second to third. So, total that's why 2 plus 1, 3. So, you can directly take 3 years spot rate. 1 plus 7 percentage to the power 3. From here, I want to discount this 2 year spot rate. So, when I discount this 2 year spot rate, I will be left out with the third year. Okay, so 1 plus 5 percentage to the power 2 minus 1. So, when I calculate this, I will get the forward rate for second to third year is 11 11.11 percentage so i have got the forward rates now so here it is six percentage for second first to you know second years so this i can write as this is for zero to one year and this is for one to two years and for 2 to 3 years, it is 11.11 percentage. Okay. So now with the help of this forward rate, uh, now we will we will derive the statement that valuation at the initiation of the for uh, of the swap contract is zero. Now basically. If imagine if I'm entering into a swap contract, let's say three years swap contract, that swap par rate that we have found out, which is 6.84 percentage, okay, 6.84 that we found out uh, here. This is also called as uh, the fixed rate that the swap uh, payer will pay. This is the fixed rate, fixed rate that the swap that the swap payer will agree to pay that the swap payer will agree to pay okay so in exchange of the floating rate okay in exchange of the floating rate yeah so here right now the forward rate is for first year it is 4 percentage and then for 1 to 2 years for 1 to 2 years it is 6 percentage and then for second to third years you know i mean 0 to 1 it is 4 percentage 1 to 2 6 percentage and then 2 to th third year it is 11.11 percentage so and in this case the swap rate payer you know agrees that he will is ready to take four percentage and then pay 6.84 percentage again say for second years he is ready to take six percentage and ready to pay 6.84 percentage third year he is ready to take 11 percentage and ready to take 6.84 percentage okay so at this stage the valuation of the contract is zero that means nobody is gaining any profit or loss in this case okay how so let me let me just derive that one so four percentage four percent four percentage six percentage and 11.11 so imagine this is what he is going to receive so four percentage okay so let's say four percentage so let me write here four percentage is going to take so that means four uh, four percentage uh, let's say four percentage plus six percentage he will get in the second year third year he will get 11.11 percentage okay now let's discount all this with the spot rate for the first year it is four percentage second year it is five percentage to the power two and third year it is uh, it is uh, 7 percentage to the power 3. So, if you calculate all this will come to uh, 0 0.1836. You may just calculate. Similarly, 
if I keep paying 6.84 you know percentage first year then I will pay 6.84 percentage second year then again I will pay 6.84 percentage for the third year so and if I discount all this amount 1 plus 4 percentage to the power 1 so this is okay here 1 plus 5 percentage to the power 2 and here 1 plus 7 percentage to the power 3 I will again get the value as the same one you know I will get 0 0.1836 so this also will give me the same value like this so that's the reason we say the valuation is 0 so me paying 6.84 6.84 6.84 three times or receiving 4 6 and 11.11 11 will lead to the same valuation that's why the valuation of a swap contract at initiation is zero after this when the floating rate or forward rate changes for the second year you know accordingly profit and loss will be calculated but at the initial stage the valuation of the swap uh, agreement will be zero thank you